I had no idea how much destruction was down here. I was just flabbergasted. Rain poured down on Nevada last week and rising floodwaters tore through neighborhoods. But it wasn't just the Carson Valley that saw damage. And it went from a small stream to a 100 foot wide stream flowing through people's homes in a matter of a half an hour. This is one of many roads that have been washed out in the Topaz Ranch estates. Now residents are waiting on emergency services and federal funding to make their roads passable again. This is just the destruction we saw from a uh, force of nature and what water can do. It's going to take the path of least resistance and it, this is what we get. Sharon Becker and her neighbors are worried about people who can't leave their homes. People in the older generation, a lot of retired people, a lot of senior citizens, and a lot of people on low fixed budgets. They have small cars and that's what gets them to town. In this, they're not getting to town. They've turned to each other in this time of need. But it's not enough to repair the intense damage. You guys need help. We need help. I mean, we have a telephone pole behind us that's standing kind of on an isolated island that used to have dirt on both sides. We know how the federal government funding works. It takes time, so we're going to hope we can patch it up the best we can. But if there's some emergency funds we can get quickly, it would definitely help the community. Now they wait for help, leaning on each other, hoping no one forgets their small town. They need to remember that it's not just about Las Vegas and it's not just about Reno. There's a lot of small communities in Nevada, and we need the support from the state just as much as those big cities. Reporting from the Topaz Ranch Estates, I'm Ashley Grams, Colaway News Now. With highly low